Hey guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to fix the iVogo Dimitri. Check it. So what I've got here is the lovely Doge. It's a clone. All of this is a clone. Don't shout at me. I was having connection issues with the battery. So I've now got two random ass batteries in there just to test it, and, oh, ah, <laughs> so I've got two batteries in there now, and it is chucking now, it wasn't before, so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate, that wasn't a, that wasn't even a big hit, like, that was, come on, really? One more. Sick as tits, as Rip Trippers would say. I'm gonna dive down and show you what I did to fix this because my connection was was awful. Non-existent connection. I watched YouTube videos of unboxings and dismantling of this thing and I still just couldn't figure it out. So, for the benefit of everyone who is thinking about buying one of these, which I would recommend, it's a fantastic mod. It's a mechanical unregulated box mod. It has a magnet sliding door. Very handy. It has these screws in at the bottom. Don't know if you can see that. I'm going to manually adjust. It says here, uh, Viping Keiko. Is that what it says? That's what it says. So you need a flathead screwdriver, you stick your batteries in. I am going to swap these batteries out for a freshly charged pair. I've got them charging just down here. But, uh, yeah, the button, simple as push and go, you can lock it just by turning it, and it doesn't fire, and that's where the problem comes in. So, we're going to take this thing apart, I'm not going to lie, I had to, I had to try to get that, you will see what I mean. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to dismantle this thing. Alright, I'll be back with you guys in a second. So, before we get started, you will want the following optional energy drink. Second of all, all you need to do this is fucking patience. That's a good one. Also, I got this really cool, uh, it's like a pen. It, like, I just put this in my pocket. I'll show you a picture after. But this is basically just a, oh hey, a Stanley pen, which comes with, dun dun dun. A flat head, on the other side is a big star head, I'm not taking it out. And then on the other end, it comes with the smaller of both. So it's the best of both worlds. It's very handy. This, I would recommend to have in anyone's kit, buy one. It was like a pound. A pound. It's only a quid. Do it now. Not even sponsored. So, we've got the iVogo sitting on my desk. We're going to, first of all, remember battery safety. We don't want to be pulling this thing out, you know. So, we are going to... Unscrew the batteries, like so, and we get one, and we'll do the other one, like so, two. I'm going to set those aside and get my new batteries out in a minute. So, this is what it looks like with, I'm going to take this out as well, because we don't want it leaking and it's already on my hand, so I'm going to set that there. This is the inside of the Ivogo Dimitri. It's nice! It looks like... I've compared this with an iMac, okay? I... <clears throat> and this is the same material. You slap an Apple sticker on there and it, it looks like Apple made it. It's got this, like, brassy... It's supposed to look gold, it just says Dimitri on it. Uh, so it's quite nice. Uh, I don't like this, but can I complain? Yes, I can. But I won't. So, we've got a nice button here. It's quite resistive. This is an open mode. It's supposed to be flush, but that's what I'm going to show you how to fix. And then locking it, just turn it to the right, doesn't push down as much. So, how I did this, and I'm not going to lie guys, this took me like a solid two days to figure out. So, I mean, I'm doing this in case other people are as fucking stupid as I am. So, anyway, we're going to, first of all, get down in there to these copper-plated 
or no, they're not copper, they're just copper. These, these copper contacts inside, okay? I'm going to turn it open. Now, it's going to be quite stiff, and I'll show you why in a minute. You'll hear something fall, do not worry. Do you need to do this? No, but I'm showing you what I did so you don't have to make my mistake. And I'm showing you it now in case you cannot take your case off like I couldn't. So, boom, two nuts, whoop, set those aside here, very safe, you know. Now, you'll notice this rattling. Don't worry about that, okay? So, what we're going to do now is get this. This black piece of plastic comes out, believe it or not. And, like, I tried for ages. I stuck one of these back in, stuck a, like, I, this thing was, like, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly take this out with my shirt. What I do is I just take it so I get a grip and put it in there and pull it out. So, you know what? I'm going to need to put these pins back in, aren't I? <sighs> One back in, alright? There we go. So, it just exploded in my hand. Let's see what we get, shall we? I'm going to zoom in, just for ease. I have locked the lens. Let's not do that. I have locked it again. Where's the... So guys, here's the box with everything that comes inside it, okay? You'll notice in here that there are... There is, rather. There is a bar here, a copper bar, or a copper connecting strip, whatever you want to call it. And it's connected to the button and the 510 connection, which is also copper. So here's where I fucked up. A lot of the time, whenever you get this, you will find that your button is maybe sticking out a lot more than it should be. And I didn't know this, okay? This thing actually, after it gets passed, I'm going to show you this up and close. There is a little bar here, right? It actually got to the stage where that, I'm just going to quickly unscrew this. I'll just show you what I'm doing. Mine was like this. Mine was just free wheeling it. And I turned this too far. Yeah, you can guess what happened. This made immediate contact with my batteries and just started firing. I shat a brick. Bricks were made, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn this, push it back through, pop this little thing over the hole here, okay? We're going to get that little screwdriver. We're just going to quickly pop it back in. You do not need to do this. I'm just showing you what I did so you don't have to make the same mistake, okay? So we're going to screw that the whole way back in. Whoop. What you're going to do... What you're going to want to do... Make sure this thing isn't open, so turn it this way. And push down. You will notice that it is now flush with that silver part of the button, okay? This is when you want to tighten this here screw, okay? I'm going to zoom out and demonstrate. All the way in there. Tighten that thing up. Boom. This is your button, how it should feel in the open position. Whenever you turn it, this thing is now locked. It doesn't go down as far, okay? That's what's going to stop the connection to the battery. So now that we've got this part down, let me tell you where I messed up. See these little parts here? I thought these things were spares. So I put the screws back in this thing and stuck it in and was like, oh, let's see what it does. And nothing happened. You can imagine I was rather disappointed. So, don't do that, right? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want this to face you, okay? I'm going to hold it here for ease. You want to tighten this thing right up. Oh, you're going to want to put the other one back in. If you didn't need to take these out, that's fine. You, you can skip this step. You're going to want this thing to face you, right? Like this. See this black one? Put it on the left. This copper one, stick it on the right. Put this bar. This is where I really fucked up. I put a battery in here and I was like, hmm, why is it not firing with one battery? This thing normally fires with one battery. And then it hit me. How are these batteries linking up in parallel? There's nothing. I 
Done. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna stick this bar back where it should have been the whole fucking time. This black one is gonna go here. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. So you're gonna wanna take this out and make sure it's going into this black bit. Make sure that the threads aren't catching on that plastic. Don't don't overdo it, okay? Just make sure that when you turn it, it's it's nice and finger tight. We wanna do the same with the copper one, okay? Stick it in. Make sure it's not catching on the plastic because the plastic does have threadings on it. Rattle? We don't want that. So just make sure this is t tight, like finger tight. Don't be don't be overdoing it. Okay? We have the plate completed. Magic. What happens next? Stick this in the open position one more time, push down, make sure this is nice and tight and up and making connection with this copper plate. Okay? Same with the 510. You want to just tighten that up, make sure it's touching the copper. Finger tight, don't overdo this. Get this plate and stick it back in. Now, I've already warned you about how hard this thing is to get out. The first time, I pried that thing so hard it flew across the room and I'm surprised I didn't lose any of the parts inside because I had already taken these screws out, so don't make that mistake. So now that we've got this part sorted, we can take our fresh batteries. What I've got here are two Samsung 25Rs. I'm just going to pop them in. These are originally from Torchy, the battery boy in the UK. I unwrapped them because they didn't fit in my old Mac mods. So, boom, pop it in. I'm going to do it again because it's blurry. So you're going to take your new batteries and you're going to stick it in. Positive side is up on both sides, okay? Stick it in straight, okay? It's not your typical battery. This is not a spring. You need to place this in. I'm looking at the camera. You need to <laughs> place this in flat. I will do this one facing this way. Just pop it in flat. Okay? Now that you've done that, you can now proceed to finger tighten the bottom um, battery connection posts. Okay? These will not move. This one is moving. I'm going to tighten that just a little bit, just to make sure it's connected properly. No, it is connected. I just don't want that thing to move inside there. Okay. Boom. It's done. Get your case, your cover, your slide, your magnet door, your battery, whatever. Ah, uh, so good. Now, whenever you stick your battery of choice, this is a clone. This is one of the better clones I've purchased. It is a doge. Wow. No, my cereal. Uh, uh. So we're gonna stick that on. I like to push it to the side a little bit when it's getting tight. So this is tight. I then push to the side just to help get the grip in the 510 connection. This now fires beautifully. Okay. So now that if we lock it, this thing will not fire. Ooh. There you go guys. That should be your Dimitri set up to rock and roll. What I'm vaping at the moment is a new blend I'm working on. It is a blueberry and a pomegranate. It tastes a sweet. It's 12 milligrams, I'm mixing with nicotine, and let, let's vape it just really quickly and talk about the mod a bit more. Alright guys? So guys, we've built our mod back up. Let's quickly, oh yes, we'll get this dripped in and uh, we'll, we'll blow a cloud or two and talk about it. So I got the Dimitri, I've been vaping it now for about a month, um, and it's easily one of the best mods I own. Would I recommend it? Oh hell yeah. How much was it? This came in, I think, at about the 20 pound mark. Not bad, right? This is a clone. You will not have this problem with an authentic. If you have a problem with an authentic, you need to let the guys know over at 
whoever makes it. So, oh, just the smell, just, oh my god. Good vapor production, that I know that's mostly to do with this, but the hit, it just, it just fires up. There's no messing around with this thing. This is vaping on a 0.2 ohm coil. <gasps> 0.2 ohm coil, it is about four wraps on a Five wraps on a, so this is my 3.5 coil. So this is about five wraps on a four millimeter, um, 0.4 millimeter, um, this is 0.4 millimeter. This is 0 0.3 ohms, 0 0.35, 37, 0 0.37 ohms wrapped on a 2 millimeter inner diameter with 0.4 millimeter canthal or 26 gauge for you gauge users. It is just chucking it. Um, I love it. Go check it out. Fast Tech's finest. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. So guys, if you have any requests you want to see with this mod, it is a really good looking mod. People are like, what mod is that? Is that this mod? Is it that mod? I'm like, I know, it's the Dimitri. And they're like, dude, you're loaded, you spent 200 pounds or whatever. And I'm like, you think that. It hits like it. Um, I hope I helped you guys. This honestly did bother me for about two nights that this button was like up to here fucking here or off and firing so keep safe vape on and uh feel free to check out my website if you're in the belfast area and uh yeah